So welcome to my edition of the Betty Review. Um, as you guys remember, or don't remember, um, in Ugly Betty, there's an episode where um, Betty is uh, preparing her um, Yeti presentation and her dad, Ignacio, shows her a magazine that she created when she was younger called the Betty Review. So in preparation for the fourth season of Ugly Betty, I've decided to do my own Betty Review, and this will be called the... Ugly Betty Review Live. <laughs> and so th periodically through this movie, I'm going to show little clips, give you a little background information, and we'll go from there. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ugly Betty. I have my reasons. I actually love uh, Betty La Fea and La Fea Mas Bella. So those are some spin... Well, those aren't spin-offs. Those are the originals. And then the U.S. version of Ugly Betty is actually a spin-off of those two shows. So I'm really a big fan of the old ones and they're probably one of the only telenovelas that I've ever saw, seen and now I'm obsessed with Ugly Betty. Um, so start from the beginning. If you don't know the basics, you should watch the basics. Um, there's the ABC starter kit with my favorite <laughs> fashion buzz um, TV person, um, Suzuki St. Pierre, and he'll give you a rundown. But pretty much where we left off with uh, with on Ugly Betty was um, this last season. You know, Betty started off having said no to Gio and Henry. Um, so she didn't go to Rome. She didn't get married to Henry. Goes through the whole thing where she's like, I need to get an apartment, more responsibility at mode, so on and so forth. Pretty much blows her whole list. She ends up falling for Jesse, who's a douchebag. Um, gets a crappy, crappy apartment. Ends up having to have her family help that. Ouch! Um, and ends up, <laughs> it's Slayer for a while. Um, yeah. Doesn't work out for Betty too well. But periodically through the season, I mean, I love this season. Don't get me wrong. Like, um, I love Connor, the character, um, and his little thing with Wilhelmina, which I also liked to see Wilhelmina's character evolve like it did. Um, it was really actually kind of cool because you never saw Wilhelmina be, you know, this happy, outgoing person. So it was kind of cool to see that in there. Um, what else happened? Well, I like to see Daniel and Molly. I thought that kind of happened really quickly. And I personally think that um, if I was in that situation, I probably wouldn't have married Molly. I know I'm kind of a romantic for the most part, but I don't know. It's really hard. It just adds to the baggage. And then plus you talk about it. If you go down the line talking with friends, you know, oh, I was married for a month, and then she died, and then you knew she was going to die. I don't know. Some people might think of me as really mean for having talked like that. Well, uh, who knows. Um, Betty gets passed up for her job at the New York Review. She interviewed, and her Yeti counselor... Um, you know, ends up taking her job from her. I like the part where, at the very end of the season, um, Betty starts to meet Matt, this great guy. She likes him a lot. She ends up cheating. Well, not necessarily cheating, but she kissed Henry while, well, Henry comes back into the picture. She kisses Henry. Oh, no, she did. And then Matt finds out her deal. And finally, Matt's like, this isn't going to work. We're over. Betty, you're SOL. And uh, Matt's dad gives him a job at mode now i'm predicting completely predicting but i think that matt now has wilhelmina's um job at mode now the way the season ended wilhelmina um is trying to hunt down connor to get money to buy her position back into um into mead publications and um she walks into the room drops her glass and she's like what are you doing here i don't think it's connor actually i think it's um maybe I think it might be maybe like um, her dad, maybe Nico's dad, Wilhelmina's ex-lover. I don't know. I don't. I really don't think it's Connor. If it's Connor, I'll be extremely surprised. Um, but so Matt now is going to be in Wilhelmina's position at Mode and be Betty's boss. Now Betty did get an editorial job over Mark, and uh, there was some kind of some tension there. So. I kind of want to find out what everyone else's predictions is. I know I don't have a huge following, but anyone that logs on to YouTube and sees 
you know, Ugly Betty as a tag on this video, please post your comments right below. Uh, let me know what you think is going to happen in the next season. And everyone stay tuned because I do believe that the premiere date of Ugly Betty will be October 9th of this year so everyone get excited and hopefully i can get some cool video responses some cool comments about the show and maybe we'll kind of get an idea of what the season premiere will look like well thanks for following and like i said post your comments below comments below any predictions that you have about the show and yeah we'll take it from there thanks for watching